Maybe going inside a human's house wasn't such a good idea. I want to eat. I want food. Food is what you'll get, hamster. Enough food to fill a bear cave, hopefully. OK, everyone, pay attention. Oh, look at the light. We need to get through the next three yards. Everyone knows your roles, right? Heather and I run along the front of the houses and come in through the basement window. At the first sign of trouble, we... We resist the urge to faint so we can warn everyone, right? Oh, right. Lou, Penny, you'll meet us at the house? Just me. Penny will stay home with the little ones. Oh, jeepers. I don't want you by yourself in a human house there. But we do this together. Hamilton? Where'd it go, huh? You and Stella meet us at the hole in the fence in the third yard, right? Right. Third yard, yep. Three comes after six, right? <laughs> Stella? Yo, Pammy, count to three. Got it. And Vern and I will navigate the three yards full of the most devious human traps imaginable, sticking to the shadows like creatures of the night, sneaking past incredible dangers, and... Sometime before the sun comes up would be good. Right. Everyone ready? Good luck, everyone, and be careful! Where is that ridiculous exterminator now? Buenos dias, reptile. Or should I say, buenos noches. Almost there. What the... Oh, good. Uh, there you are. I was just on my way to kill you. Well, well. I'm impressed. You really outdid yourself this time. You keep this up and you're gonna be just like me. Take what you need, and who cares about anyone else? Well, I guess when you put it like that... Wow, doing the right things never felt so dumb! Thank you. Heavens, I won't have to set eyes or foot on any more of those horrid creatures ever again. You! Damn! Us! Hedge, now! Let's go! Yay! Hurry! Kia! Run, run! Come on, hurry! Once again, we're home sweet. Dead. Drink, Hammy. Drink. Go. Hammy, why won't you go? You already been. Rewiring the conductor frame to the propane tanks might have made all the difference. You're fired. What you did back there, that was really brave. And stupid. I, I can't exactly say I was wrong about you, RJ, but thanks for making me a, a little wrong towards the end, at least. I'm just glad everything turned out. And don't worry, next time will be way easier. I got it all figured out. Next time. <laughs> Pretty sweet take this time, Vern. I knew it was touch and go for a while, but today's haul puts us over the edge. RJ, I know we got off to a rocky start, but I guess meeting you was a real stroke of luck after all. <gasps> what the? Somebody needs to clean up around here. <gasps> the food! Our television! It's broken! Who would steal our food? Maybe the rats. Um, this for sure wasn't rats. <sighs> Now what? Wait, wait, sorry. I don't know. The fine. The television's broken. Hey, that sounds just like... Hey, get your reptile. Over here. No, Vern's just a patsy. It's me you want. Yeah, go after him. Whoa! See? We drove him off. He's coming back. And that's our cue to get this show on the road. All right, gather around. This is us here, this here is me, and this line here represents the stick I'm holding. Vern, if I may? Little thing called the 21st century. Look it up sometime, Pops. Reptile. I can't help that. Now then. Voila! That's French for our goal, the Martin residence. Now, the good news is there's no catch at all this time. Bad news is 
There is one catch, actually. We have to avoid the streets at all costs. Hey, um, excuse me, Monsieur, but we were just in the streets last night, remember? I do remember, Vern. I'm sure we all do. Thus, the new street avoidance part of the plan. Now, let's focus. We'll come from the hedge here and creep unsuspectingly down over into this yard. Find a way past the gate, hereabouts, and out toward the street through that iron gate. Um, didn't you just say going in the street was what we didn't want? Burn, where does it say you can't avoid something by going toward it and crossing it? The dictionary? Never heard of it. Then we head through these two yards, maybe hop a ride to our destination. Hop a ride? What ride? I want a ride. Shh, don't spoil the surprise, Hamilton. Even I don't know what I'm talking about. We all set? Let's hit the road. Woohoo! This is the only way to fly. I'm no raccoon, but isn't this thing a little loud in the element of surprise department? Burn, burn. It's our landing that's got to be covert. Nice landing. Dazzy! Don't fall! No! Oh, they come in peace. Hi, guys! Uh, plan? Run. Yep, good plan. Ah, I love the smell of victory in the morning. It smells like... Cheers, Puffs! <laughs> yeah. Not to burst everybody's bubble. You? But does barely getting away with our lives count as a victory? Hey, getting away with a wagon load of cheese puffs? Where I come from, that's a TKO. Couldn't be any simpler. We hit the shooting gallery, grab the popcorn machine, in and out, two minutes tops. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa! Isn't that our stop? Ooh, shiny. Hey, look what I found. It's shiny. Not bad. Look, Mommy, a raccoon. <laughs> They're fake animals, dear. Targets. Just shoot at them. Ah! See how much fun we have with the raccoon in charge? This is my park, and you're my dinner. Avoid being eaten! Whoa, whoa! I thought popcorn was mostly air. Put your shell into it, Burn. Is that a fat joke? Here's the 411. The Backstreet Boys. Uh, old screensaver. It was on there when I got it. <laughs> you just got this phone. Great, let's go over the plan. We, i.e. us, come out of the hedge into this yard. From there, we head up to these so-called deadly high voltage power lines. You're out of your mind. It's perfectly safe. Hammy runs along power lines all the time, don't you, champ? <laughs> that blue sparkly stuff tickles my toes and makes my eyes smoke. You're right. These meetings are really helpful. Power lines lead us right to this attic window, as if by divine providence. We go through the attic, then cross through this yard. Bingo! We're at the Smith's back door, dead or alive. It's as easy as pie, but without the hassle of burning the cross. Just the image I needed. Burn. A wise raccoon once said that none of us can truly appreciate life until we try extra hard to lose it. I'd tell you what happened to him, but it's a sad story. Okay, we ready? Let's go! A little exposed? As long as we're careful. Hey, look at that! What? Nice try. I heard that. <gasps> Whoa! This is so much worse than a bear. Mom! Mom! There's some kind of animals in the house, and they're eating my chips! Yep, worse than a bear. Jeepers with extra mail. What happened to you folks there? Trust me, you don't even want to know. Anyone got a lawnmower? What for? Me. Brothers and sisters, I'm sure you're all familiar with the phrase, simple as taking a satellite dish from a bear's cave? No. Well, the time has come. Only instead of simple, it'll probably be extremely complicated and cost many lives. Ooh. So, let's get started. We'll start in the caves at the bottom of the cliff. No climbing. I like it already. Glad you approve. 
Eventually, we'll come to an underground river. We follow this nice, swooping curve of scenic, high-resolution underground caverns right underneath Vincent the Bear's old den. Um, hi, quick question. He's not there, right? The hungry, angry bear who hates us? Burn, please. Do you honestly think I'd recklessly endanger our lives with some harebrained scheme? I scouted it out just the other day. It was cold and cobwebby, desolate. Uh, which day was this again? I told you, the other one. Now we'll come back about halfway up the mountain. The bear we're not supposed to feed. Burn, I scouted it, or meant to, whatever. Now, if I can continue, from here, we just head up the mountain to the den, grab the satellite dish, then head back. How exactly we planning on carting some big giant dish all the way down that mountain? Worry, worry, that's all you worry warts do. Onward! Jeez, it looks like a cave in here. Pardon my French. Shh, we're right below Vincent's den. How can you tell? Trust me, I've been here before. Get out of here! It's collapsing! <gasps> I never knew it could rain potato chips. <laughs> There's more where that came from, Hammy Boy. Everyone, get ready to feast! I told you Vincent wasn't here. Look, everybody, it's Vincent! <laughs> Must eat annoying raccoon! Let's compromise. Eat this rock! Run away! <laughs> ah! Ah! Huh? RJ? Hey, Vincent, what's the last thing you remember? That human with all the traps shooting me with a drag dart. And you, destroying all my stuff. Twice. Uh, let's get back to the first last thing you remember. You were brainwashed into wanting to attack us thanks to this! Well, actually, I still want to attack you. But not as much, right? Look, Vincent, we have a common enemy. RJ? The other common enemy. Remember the big human who shaved you in that contraption? Yeah, I'd like a bite of that human to give him something to remember. I'm in. The bears are so easy. ought to be a cinch. Well, we've crashed a plane and a train so far. Why not a boat this time? Oh, oh, oh! Arr, matey! Who's next? Who's next? Can we let the raccoon finish, please? Thank you, Stella. Now, our destination is this house, the Connors. We'll enter through the back door. Oh, huh, subtle. What's the occasion? Thanks. So, crossing the yard without dying or anything along those lines? Should be simple. Every time should be simple. It's, what do we at now? 0 for 9? Pfft, 9. We come out of the hedge here and head toward the street. This sounds familiar. Relax, Vern. We won't go into the street this time. I got a system. We'll take the sewers. The sewers is a system? You, you don't know what words mean, huh? Yay, sewers! Then we can smell like Stella. What did you say? Something, something, yay. We'll make a sharp U through the sewers and come out right by the Connor's back door. Start to finish in no time. Everyone's got it? Uh, no, I... Uh... What about the... My little toy submarine ran out of baking soda last year. Great. Let's get this show on the road. where we run, right? Cheapers, we've been worried sick. Look! <laughs> oh, he's just like a giant teddy bear with anger issues and half-eaten bats on his breath. Look, we gotta hit the amusement park while it's closed. Amusement park? Again? Or what? Cotton candy machine, Stella. Now come on and get your stink shot loaded. Cotton candy, Stella. Seduce a cat, Stella. Excuse me for always missing the obvious. Fred! Where the heck are ya? Get over here right now so I can fire you! I was thirsty. First, animals in my shooting gallery, and now trash on the mini golf course. What is going on around here? All clear. Let's hit it. Oh, Berman. Come 
Sun, Sun, Jiggly Fat Gelatandrius! Um, Duck. Ow! <laughs> you. Oh. Ah! I would have gotten away with brooming them too, if it wasn't for you meddling rolly coasters. Huh? What a maroon! Come on, let's move it. Voila! Kasunite! Ozzy, what are you doing here? The sniffer, that evil human, he has heather. For all I know, he already has one of those metal things on his sweet, innocent head. Or worse. Come on, worse than getting a cap slammed on your head? Wham! Then you're under his control and you walk around like this! Then you attack your own father and you get captured! What? We'll get Heather back, safe and sound. I'm all for rescuing and revenge and all, but how are we gonna find him? There's one person who definitely knows how to find the sniffer. Yep, no choice. Gotta get Heather back. <sighs> all right. We're going back to Gladys's house. Steaks have never been higher. Mmm, steak. We're looking for Gladys's PDA, which is a human gadget that holds addresses they never visit and phone numbers they never call. So far ahead of us in so many ways. Gladys's new house is in the new part of the suburbs, so we're going through some construction. Hooray, dirt! Uh, right, dirt. Lots of dirt, hamster. And if you're a good squirrel, maybe even some rust. Now, here's the thing. We have to go through these two yards, then through this house and up to the scaffolding. I'm no skunk Floyd Wright, but that don't exactly look at all safe. It can hold three or four good-sized human men, so you should be fine. Vern, on the other hand. Hey, enough with the fat jokes. I can't help it if my shell is heavy, and, and technically, it's muscle. Right, that's all shell. Whatever you say, buddy. Anywho, we'll drop right down into Gladys's yard, pop in through the back door, and hope I figure out what happens next before then perfect plan to fill the perfect log. So easy, even Hammy could do it. Huh? Let's go. All we have to do is... You. I thought I smelled vermin. That's my PDA. You thieves. I've been preparing for this moment. All right, hairballs. It's go time. You want a little of this? <gasps> Woohoo! Parking on couch. Violation of all mourners. So. It doesn't taste like blackberry. Vincent, wait till you hear. Defend the law. I'll take point. Milton, what's the last thing you remember? I remember Firm Tech, where the humans made the shiny hats. <laughs> You didn't happen to see a little she possum while you were there, did you? Yeah, called herself Heather. That evil human has my daughter. Let's get to Vermtech, rescue Heather, and shut that place down once and for all. What do y'all say we named this hitch? How about Linda? How about Impassable? Guys, please, how many times do I have to remind you? You're with the raccoon. Ta-da! Stella, statues are nothing to be afraid of. RJ, stand by that pile of leaves. Now you're thinking like a raccoon. Hey, Marble Breath, over here! You mean we actually had a plan that worked? Don't question good fortune. Just run! Hurry! Thanks for coming for me, Uncle RJ. Please, it was on the way. Whoa! This isn't over yet! I've had my cheeks singed by bigger animals than you'll ever be! Come on, we have to get after them. Call in the SWAT team. Naturally, Vern was against the whole idea. As usual, RJ's plan consisted of, let's just go wherever the danger is and hope for the best. Plus, I ate some cheese fries this one time. Enough sitting around. Who wants to dance with a skunk? Oh, my little striped passion flower. I believe this next dance 
She's mine. See? Told you there. All she needed was a good fella. Close enough, eh? I can't thank you enough for saving her. You are my heroes. Uh, you would have done it for us. No, but I would now. Well, it's getting to be about that time. Ugh. Yep. First day of winter tomorrow. Yep. Hey, you know, we only have 38 bags of nachos. Yep. Gonna be a long winter, a leap year and all. What are you trying to say? I'll get the wagon. Way ahead of you. <laughs>